Hello, I'm Robert Benjamin, and welcome to the very first episode of The News Box. A brand new show where we bring you the latest news and updates from The Sims, SimCity, and the surrounding community. Unless you've been living under a rock, don't own a computer, or have had no internet connection for the past few months, then you will already know that the latest expansion pack for The Sims 3, University Life, was in fact released recently. Once again, players have been given the ability to send their Sims off to college to party, party, and then party some more! I mean, study for a degree to further their chances in the outside world. <laughs> Actually, no. I meant party. <laughs> but that's right. The Sims 3 University gives the players the ability to send their Sims to college where they can choose to earn a degree in business, technology, science and medicine, communications, fine arts, and more. Much like the previous generation's expansion pack, The Sims 2 University. If that wasn't enough to satisfy your cravings for all things Sims, the much-anticipated and long-awaited SimCity reboot from the great Maxis was also released on the same day. Although reports suggest the game had a rocky launch, such as full servers which left players unable to access their games, the title has mainly seen nothing but praise all around. Players have been of two minds about the new SimCity, since it was announced that the game does require an always-on connection to Origin in order to play, which means anyone without an internet connection will be unable to take their seat in the mayor's office. This, however, does have a plus side, as being connected to Origin does mean players can interact with their friends, join forces in-game, and open up a whole new array of online play. EA made SimCity to be an online-only game as part of their business model to emphasize microtransactions and to stop piracy. Say what you will, but no one can resist the chance to lay down some curved roads, a new and oddly exciting feature that many SimCity fans have wanted since the original. So, SimCity is back, and currently players are welcoming it back with open arms. Good job, Maxis. We knew you could do it. <laughs> also in the news, the Sims team has been hard at work behind the scenes thinking of new ideas. They've been asking players to give their opinions using online polls on ideas for new expansion packs and new store content. These polls include ideas for a time-traveling expansion pack, which is expected later on in the year or early next year, and a new store world. The options on the poll included 1930s Art Deco style, farming communities, modern Asia, an Indian-inspired world, and Atlantis risen out of the ocean. They all sound great, but which one will they decide on? Speaking of worlds, Aurora Skies has just been released on the Sims 3 store, giving us yet another beautiful environment for our Sims to inhabit. Although this time, they can enjoy it from the clouds with the brand new premium content. Hot air balloons! <laughs> the standard edition is yours for only 2,450 Sim points. The gold edition, slightly more. Before all this though, we have the next expansion pack to look forward to. The Sims 3 Island Paradise, expected to be released 28th June in the UK. If you would like any further information on any of the stories or games we've talked about today, please see the description for links to all of this good stuff. So, that's it for this episode. Now, what are you waiting for? Go play some Sims! We'll be back next time with more breaking news, right here at the Newsbox. Thanks for watching.